Hello guys, Oscar here, and I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit better than before and a little bit more staged, it's because I don't know what happened with Wondershare Filmora, and I'm lagging. And I'm sorry about that, and I know the video came out about two weeks ago, but I'm, I've been getting content out as much as I can, and uh, yeah, this video is basically starting off the same way as the last one did, with uh, me just running around getting food as usual. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, this is just a little bit of our mining session, I think. Or maybe I did a mining session halfway through, I don't know. It's been a while since I was actually on my computer. But, uh, we're back now, finally, and, uh, I've been trying more to keep, keep more consistent uploads. You know, we've got two in about two weeks now, or about three weeks now, so I'm getting there. But, yeah, so, that's, that's what it is today. Uh, we're gonna take a break from the mining today, or at least start one. And uh, I think I'm going to try and do a, a bunch of automated farms, or at least one. Probably, uh, I think, probably sugarcane, because we need to enchant gear, like, really, really bad. We have no enchanted gear at all, and it's really, it's cutting down, making things really dangerous. So I think that would probably be a good thing to do. Um, what else? Yeah, that's basically the whole plan for today. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna get redstone, uh, some redstone resources, put away the stuff I had from my previous episode, and yeah, we get right into it. See you guys in a sec. I'll see you guys before I forget. Looks like our tree farm has been doing pretty well. Uh, like, I mean, I'm thinking this is probably a good seven or eight stacks of wood with all of this, and then with the saplings, we were gonna have this all filled in. And uh, yeah, so if we need wood, I think we got a good supply of it for at least a while probably gonna harvest some of this off camera but uh, right now I'm just gonna get together some redstone resources craft some up and then we'll get to it and I, I also don't know I don't have any re any idea where uh, where we should put this farm and I've decided also we're, it's gonna be sugarcane but I'm thinking uh, for this village this could just be sort of a way to get set up sort of a raw supplier for resources because our base that we're gonna have is like way in that general direction not sure exactly where, but uh, like this village could just be sort of a feeder. You know, there's far there's already farms here. There's villagers. There's a, I mean, well, there's not really a blacksmith, but we could keep like a storage system. There's a mine down there, and then we've got the tree farm. We might as well put a, a bunch of other small farms out, just as sort of feeder farms, so that we can get our bigger our our full-on base started and running. I think that would be sort of just a good start. But yeah, anyway. Now it's time to get some of this good stuff, get some of this good stuff, maybe even get a little bit of... Where's the good stuff? That good stuff, if we need it, but I don't think we will. And we're gonna get some cr stuff crafted up, and find a place, and some building blocks, and then we'll, and then we'll have pl find a place for it. Or right, then we'll just basically start building. Yeah, sorry guys, I feel like I'm being really, like, cringy and... And, uh... But it's just, I feel like I have a bunch of run-on sentences, you know. I haven't been in the actual, uh, been in this chair playing Minecraft in forever. Plus, I also got a, uh, got a new computer mouse, so, like, that's why I'm, it's hard for me to open chests and stuff right now. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. I know I say this every time. I'm gonna shut up for real this time and actually do what I'm gonna said I'm gonna do. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, this is what we're looking at. After about 20 minutes of like gathering and crafting and. All this, this is what we have. Uh, we got uh, construction blocks, we got the dirt, we got the sugar cane, at least to start it. And I think I'm going to do two sides of, uh, of modules, 4 to 46, like modules each. And then we got the t uh, chests, which I just realized are too small. One moment. Hold on. One, two. We need the double chest, and I know I could have shift clicked to that in, but I did not, so deal with it. Either way, yeah, that's where we're looking. It should be pretty good. Now let's go find a place for it. So we got the tree farm over here, which of which I actually took a few uh, took a few trees out, thinned it up a little. I'm thinking maybe somewhere like over here. I thought I saw a good spot. Yeah, like right here. This would be good. Heck, I already shaved the top of that off, actually, to get some of the dirt. Ooh, this actually, that crack's pretty tough. Yeah, maybe, like, right here, though. Yeah, I think that's where... Dang, the lag. For some reason, I keep lagging. My cursor, actually, like, drags off the screen. That's annoying. 
but yeah, okay, so, yeah, we could have them both, like, running that way, we could have, like, a path leading up to it here, or there, or something. I think so, yeah. Anyway, I've noticed this village is going to look really industrial by the time we're done with it. Like, there's going to be just dirt and, like, stone mined out from there. There's going to be trees cut down over there. There's going to be trees cut down over there. It's going to—it's not going to be a pretty village, but it's going to serve its purpose, which is just to provide us with raw resources so that we can get our actual base up and running. But, anyway, I th I'm thinking it's probably about time that I get, to start get started with the work on here. It should be pretty interesting. I could do this, in, yeah, I'm gonna do this in time lapse. Catch you guys in a bit. Wasting glass. This is annoying. <laughs> yeah, which, this is why we. I mean, this is why we're doing it, though, because we need the uh, need enchantments like silk touch, for example. Uh, we can actually harvest glass and not waste it. Wasted at least three pieces of glass just on this one sort of trough. It's annoying, but anyway, it is what it is. We're getting there. This is our, our first, uh, the first the like sort of the groundwork for our first module is about to be finished. Ah, oh, shoot. Please, come to place. Okay, I need to get out of here. Hold on. Uh, yeah, this might be difficult. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to work my way around here. I don't want to like build back up though. So, anyway, back to time lapse. In goes some of the water. All right, and that's that. Uh, other than the minecart track, which I've sort of outlined here where it's going to go. Uh, that's our first module all done. Our first half, I guess. There's going to be another one, I think, right down the side. I think maybe we could do like a ceiling or something like this. And then just a walkway through it. With like chests and either at the end or at the front. I'm not really sure. But that's, I, that's actually all the time I have for tonight. So I'm going to catch you guys next time I get the chance to record this week. Hopefully soon. Because I'm hoping to release this on Saturday or Sunday. But, uh, yeah, so I'll be right back in the next clip, but I need to cut it short here because I have to go to bed. It's, like, really late. All right. Well, that's not ideal. Um, so I'm just going to point something out. I did not go AFK, but I did. I was about to record, and then I had to go for, like, dinner, I think. Yeah, for dinner. And, uh, well, I came back to a dead screen. So, I went there and it just said, you died. Scarman 1 was shot by skeleton. I'm like, ah, oh, that stinks. Well, maybe I can get my stuff back. Long story short, it wasn't. So, all the materials that I had on me in the previous clip, like building this, are gone. Which is a shame, because they were actually, like, that took a pretty big uh, dip out of our resources. But, yeah, looks like there was a creeper. Um, I, I came to a skeleton wearing all this armor and my sword. And uh, yeah, basically everything else is gone, so I'm going to catch you guys next clip with new resources. That's going to take probably quite a long time, but yeah, so, oh jeez, it's hard, just adjusting my chair. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to catch you guys next clip, hopefully new food, new gear, new resources, should, like maybe we'll get somewhere this episode, if not we've got a little bit of stuff there, but Catch you guys next clip. I just want to point out that uh, I was like 95% sure that I was paused. Like I was, I thought I was completely paused. I thought I was totally safe. That's why I stayed outside for that. I guess we caught an AFK session. It was really just me going to eat dinner. But yeah, it's annoying. I was re like about to record, just about to record. Like I had my mouse over the click, the, the uh, record button. But nope. And then it was time to go and. Uh, Apparently I wasn't safe. I thought I was. I thought it, I thought I paused, but nope. I guess not. Either way, we've got our gear back up and some food, and so now I'm just working on getting some glass to repair the damage from that creeper and to build a new thing. I don't think I need as much as I did before, but I'm gonna build new water troughs, I guess, water canals, whatever they call, what do we call them? 
But uh, yeah, we got sand for that right now, and that's what we're looking at. And then next is wood, which we've got a massive tree farm over there. And then uh, and after that, I think it's just uh, stuff like observers and pistons and stuff, which we need 23 of each. And then hopefully our uh, hopefully we can get some sugar cane at least from uh, the farm that we do have built. That would at least be something. But anyway, yeah, we're we're making progress again, but it's a pretty pretty big damper on the mood. <laughs> we're getting there. All right, just as we hit the 21 uh, 21st minute of recording today, we have all our resources. We can start building and repairing again. It's gonna be, actually, we should probably get more dirt. I will be right back. All right, we got another 22 dirt. That should be enough for a creep roll, I just think. Look at this though. It's just a block of trees. Actually, if we go in here, you can see places where we haven't gone yet. This is cool actually, it's like a little fort. Anyway, let's get back to work. I need to get more food actually, there's more growing. I'll catch you guys getting ready to build the next clip. Alright, we got everything. Let's go. Actually, we need more sugar cane, but that's that's growing right here. Alright, we got two modules in now. Just making sure everything's alright. And we got about three quarters of a stack of glass left for construction. I think we can probably get more than that, but still. It's pretty good actually for our supplies from the other one that we lost. We actually are doing pretty good now. We didn't get more than we need. Anyway, well, now the big thing now is that we need to, uh, we need to get the minecarts in. That's the next issue, which we're gonna do right now. I'm just gonna do the trench. I just an update. All right, I'm just not getting the first rail in. Need to finish off. I don't know. I'm just gonna start. <laughs> Let's do this once again. I never say that. I know, but like, still, still sounds true. You know? Okay, so I think I might need a few more than these. Just a few, you know. Not too much. Uh, we finally got the other modules in, the or the other sort of half in the, uh, uh, the minecarts in, and then we finally uh, was it we outlined the floor. I think we have the floor going down here with like glass, and then just like have the chest all sort of like hidden in the back wall, and then uh, have this part go down quite a bit. I noticed there's a cave down there too. That might actually look cool with like if we have like hopper hopper lines running across it. Or just stuff like that, making it look all industrial, and like the like a sort of like the, if they were like the unseen side of a factory or something like that. I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, so yeah, that's where we're that's where we're at now. I am very tired. It's like nine o'clock, but I'm gonna keep recording. And uh, I haven't actually haven't tested this yet. I did I did with the dirt and stuff. But yeah, we've already got 19 sugar canes just from this like one hour 
Alright, so now this thing's only been running for maybe 15 minutes, so that's actually not bad for this small farm. This quickly put together of a farm. Like, I built this in maybe two consecutive hours with, like, resource gathering and all that. Now, now it's just for the sort of decoration part and the building part, now that the technical stuff are in. But that should look really cool, and, uh, you know, I might actually just cut this all down, like, to the, to the edge there. I think that would look cool, too. And sort of have the entrance just sort of as a sort of hole in the wall, you know? Just a hole in the, uh, in the landscape, that'd be interesting. Anyway, so yeah, those are kind of my ideas. I'm going to go clean out my inventory, put stuff away in chests, and then start sort of planning out for, uh, planning out for the, uh, like the floor and stuff. I think I've got an idea, but I don't have anything planned yet, so. Should be cool. And you look at that. I was just getting some, uh, some vines here from, like, around this area. Like, around in there. 46 sugar cane, and, yeah, it's been maybe 20 minutes. Heck, not even that. Probably like 10 minutes since we, these farms have actually been like harvesting resources. It's crazy, man. The fact that that's actually such an efficient farm for just those two modules. It's really not bad at all. I'm just getting some more of these vines and apparently some leaves too. But I'm trying to get vines. I think that that would really help with the rundown look. We only really need a few to uh, for them to spread and stuff. But yeah, I'm just doing that, and then I got all this, and then I'm going to start sort of laying out an idea. I think starting with this, uh, this kind of opening here that I figured we'd have. Like right above the cave. That's, that actually looks really cool there. Wait. Help it along a little bit. No, my dirt. Yeah, and then we'll like light this cave up, add some vines, and maybe some light. Like have our building extend down into it so where we can see it. It's gonna look cool. It's gonna look really cool, I think. Just trying to sort of clean this place up. Made it pretty industrial looking after I decided I needed some dirt, and I did that. <laughs> it's not a smart move, good, now that I think of it, but it's gonna be cool. Yeah, that actually doesn't look bad at all. But yeah, there's gonna be like a, uh, like the stone all around there as if it's like bracing against it. And then just the cave opening, and then our opening right here would be to walk in. It's gonna look cool. I've said that like five times now. Okay. I am really tired, people. I think I'll get sleeping tomorrow, though. Okay. Let's do this. Alright guys, uh, it is about 9.30 now, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hop off for tomorrow, until tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's, I've been recording for about two hours now, but we're, we're ma making a lot of really good progress. Uh, right now this is what it's looking like. I was thinking um, we wouldn't have it be, the floor be 100% glass, we sort of like we just put in glass over the top of what we cut out. So like we have lots and lots of glass and then we're gonna have a little bit of a branch coming in here and then eventually just have it like all solid back there. And uh, just have the cave system down there with the water flowing all the way through. It's gonna look really cool. I've said that like five times now. Anyway, uh, yeah I think we should probably check how much we got in this time. Yeah, yeah over a stack. And we've only been doing stuff for maybe half an hour. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, we go AFK for what was it, 12 hours, which is about 20, which is 24 half hours. That's 24 stacks of uh, stuff. Well, sugarcane. So yeah, this actually isn't bad for like these just these two uh, modules. It's actually really a good system. Anyway, 
yeah, I'm gonna cut it off right here for now, and then I'll catch you guys in about a tenth of a second. Alright guys, we are back for another day. Uh, yeah, this is the third day now that we've been recording. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty good so far. Um, I don't know, I guess I should probably just get back to work for the flow of the video, but you know, it's weird. It's been about 24 hours since I was last recording, so I kind of lost my flow. But, yeah, this is where we ended. I dug out a little bit more in preparation, but I realized this probably shouldn't be dirt. I'm thinking if it's going to be like a big cave, that, that probably shouldn't be dirt. So I'm going to be moving that out first. So I'm just sort of using it as a template now, but uh, we're, that's sort of where we're at now. I'm just going to like clear this whole space, get a, at least get a, a glass floor up to about here. And then actually maybe even if we had if we had more gunpowder we could probably use TNT, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So yeah, that's where we're at now. I'm just gonna get back to work back and do time lapse. It's gonna be a long episode, man. Just a progress update. We've got uh, got the entire uh, front floor and part of the back wall in, and uh, just about all of the uh, what is it? The left uh, the left wall filled in. I just need the right, and then I think we should go with the ceiling, and then we'll do the exterior, and then we'll do the the rest of this inside here. Uh, I've been recording for about an hour, but we're actually like for that one hour, we've actually made a lot of progress, so we're doing pretty good. I'm just gonna go to sleep right now, and then we'll get back to it. Guys, we got the uh, we got the under we lit, or we lit all this up, and we got the uh, the details underneath finished. Hopefully, they last. I just realized we're gonna be bringing water in here. That this is gonna get washed out. But underneath here, or not 
Not under there. Where is it? Up. Okay, can I move, please? Oh, Alright, I built something there. Okay. But up here, we got our pipeline, which looks pretty cool. Cost a lot of iron, by the way. With these iron bars and the hoppers. We got just sort of a pipeline, and then we got two redstone lines. I think we should maybe make another one, like there or something because this one's gonna get washed away. I did not realize. But yeah anyway that's the part we've got done so far. After this I think it's just detailing the edges and I have vines planted too. And root. And uh and up there I have vines too so there'll be vi eventually there'll be vines down he heading down the ceiling. And that should be pretty cool. We are moment just a progress update we are climbing a waterfall by the way in case you guys didn't notice climbing it very slowly All right. okay and then there's another skeleton which is fun I'm just gonna keep narrating the stuff you can obviously tell oh, where is that skeleton he's down there somewhere anyway that's that going. We can do that. And then we can do we could do this. And that and that. There we go. Oh, I should I not put some in there? Yeah, that looks alright, I think. Let's go upstairs or uh, let's go up and check it out. Oh, our vines are starting to go already. Alright, so that's what it looks like down below. Looks pretty awesome. I would like to get up there, please. And once we walk in, this is what we see. Looks pretty cool, don't you think? Maybe we could have like a line running across here. That would look cool too. Yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick. And then after that, I'm gonna uh, go and I'm gonna either. I'm gonna get the edge, uh, the top edge of that all done, and then let the water in. And after that, it's just a matter of uh, uh, finishing up the outside, making that look pretty. And after that, we're good. I think that's going to be a pretty cool build. Yeah. See you guys after that. Alright. Got this in. Now once those vines grow, it's going to look really, really cool. And then this part, the vines are starting to come down. Slowly. We could probably use a few more of those actually. I'm gonna keep going. We are not stopping. I think that should be good. And now it's time for the outside of this thing. I think we're going to need all the dirt that we got before. Probably more than that. Heck, we could probably dig out some right here because it's going to get covered up. But uh, yeah, either way, I'm thinking of just sort of making it into a hill. And this crater will just sort of be like a drop off. And then over the other side of the hill, it will just be like descending into the swamp lands. Same with over there. Should look pretty cool, and I'm, I was I was never really that confident in my terraforming ability, but like after this, I think I'm all right. I'm just seeing all this, but still. And also, I want to point out that that's over five stacks of uh, sugar cane. We've only been in this hour for maybe five or six hours in this area for like over the course of this episode. That's not bad. Five stack. That's about a stack an hour for that small a farm. That's not too bad. Especially if we, we, we only need a bunch of paper like early on, so it's not going to need very much for the rest of the season. Or not season, this isn't a... Well, yeah, well the series, I guess, uh, that's what we should call it. So it's not going to be a regular thing, so... Either way, yeah. Here we go. Let's finish this up.
guys. We have a little bit less than half of the way of the thing done. And I'm gonna add some stone into the uh, the really flat parts on the vertical side. Like right here, like that could all use some stone. But that's where we're at now, and the grass is starting to spread too, so we're doing pretty good. We just need to do that and then basically just apparently just find a problem. I just realized that would look really weird if that was just flat. I have to bring that in a few blocks and like make it into a cliff, I think. Anyway, yeah, that's where we're at right now. But I've been recording for a long time, so I'm gonna go for the uh, what is it now? The fourth time. I'm gonna delay this, and uh, yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock right now. So, and yeah, I'm gonna hopefully get this thing out by Monday, right? Yeah, anyway, yeah. Catch you guys next clip, I guess. Alright guys, we are back once again, but uh, yeah, we need to get this done, like today. I'm gonna have, um, this probably, you're probably seeing this on Monday, honestly, because it's taking me just so long to record. But yeah, we're back now, I'm gonna go back into time lapse, and apparently get a bunch of food, and I need more dirt too, so yeah, it might be a little while, but getting back to work, but I have just today to get this stuff, like, working, so wish me luck. <laughs> Here we go. say we finished. We finished our sugarcane farm. It only took me about eight hours to work on. But I think we're finished. This is it in all its glory. I think it looks pretty awesome. I always, I always thought I was pretty bad at terraforming, but after seeing like, my work on this, I think I can actually survive on this. It doesn't look quite too awful. But anyway, yeah, let's just check it out. So this is just the, hill, the sort of hilltop I have. It drops off kind of steeply. And then right here, we're going to need more bone meal after that. But then, we go through here, the trees add nice detail. Flowers are a really nice addition. And I am by no means a professional reviewer. I need to get a way 
up here. All right. So yeah, that's the outside. This, this is the inside. Got the nice vines hanging out through here, and then the two miraculous farms. My favorite part is how when you look down, you can see the you can see the water flowing down underneath. So it all looks super cool. It looks really awesome. And the best part of all, seems seems pretty small, as I've said several times in this episode. Look how much sugar cane we have, though. In about in one like twelve-hour AFK session, we could get this step filled to like here. It's a lot more than we need at the moment, but we'll probably use this all throughout the entire series. But yeah. Anyway, yeah, this is where we're at. This is what we've done so far. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode for this week. Yep. We don't really have anything more to do except edit this video. And then, uh, but uh, we'll catch you guys next week with a spooky Halloween video. Or, I don't know, maybe the week after that. Of which I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm going to do about. What I'm saying. I don't want to, I don't know what I'm gonna do it about. But yeah, you can expect a redstone video or some kind of tutorial video next week. And yeah, thanks for watching. This has been Oscar. I'll see you guys later.